Welcome, anime lady fans. How you guys doing? Legendary the ash as always. Send them again, man. And we're here to do a live reaction of Hero Mashima's work, Eden Zero, Chapter 95, Chris Christopher. Or, yeah. I'm guessing yeah. we need a new person. Or maybe somebody else that we know of the real name, because I heard some leak about it. But I'm not just say that's what it is, what I heard. All I know is that we're going to find out someone that in the, in the team, a real name. So that could be the case. I don't know. But we get another peanut analysis of our girl, Herman mm -hmm. Milan? Milan? Milan. Milan. Mm -hmm. Powers, Same program hacking, mm -hmm. master code, like close video games, which would make sense. Um, just like humans, but anymore because of Shiki. Her, um, her at the power, intelligence, and. Markmanship. Uh, understandable when she did the whole oh, uh, is, gun control and stuff like that. Me, the reason I paused because it was the last one is the four star one. The last one, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I mean, I saw that, but it makes sense more. It makes sense how she is now. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yep. And just in case, Sam throws me off on what happened last week that we find out about the screensaver. Let's just read the memo real quick. One of the demons came four shining stars that she's a heart and mind of Eden. She's once hated humans for crude things mm -hmm. they did to her. But thanks to my master and his friends, she learned how to smile again. She loved fashion and has even made clothes for me. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty sweet. Oh. Huh. Pretty okay. nice dynamic. So are you ready, Sam, to get straight to the chapter 95? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, guys. Did you know the draw? Like, comment, subscribe, press that bell notification to every time we upload videos. And everything is in the description down below where to find us, social media, and join that Discord server as well to talk about Eden Zero. Other than that, let's get straight to it with the first page. We have nothing to discuss. I will carry out my mission. That is all. Fine. We'll just have to beat you into listening mood. Arsenal, happy. I, right, sir. Hold your horses, everybody. It looks like you're in charge of guarding this place, but do you even know, like what this device is for? No, nor do I care. Apparently this is a device that maintains Draken's youth. What my employer does is, does not, is not my concern. Don't be so sure about that, Jin. No, Jin's not your name. It's a code name referring to a wind spirit. The real name is oh. Chris Rutherford, brother to Kylie, Clean of the Element 4. Okay, now we knew, but Chris, so that's Jin's real name. Where did you get that? Finding out everything about Draken organization is my job. Now, let me get to the point. We know without a doubt that this device that's, that what keeps drinking young. But what the question is, where does it get the energy to do that? Energy? I'm detecting an abnormal ether from it. Sebir, did you build this too? I don't have that kind of skill. This thing has been around since back when we were all on normal. This device powers itself by absorbing the life force of the people living around it. Here, that means the people living on Belal Gore before that it was Gillis, and before that, Norma. Countless people have had their lives taken from them to add to Dragon's life force. Honestly, this is very nice uh, artwork. And right? And drawing. That's what I say. Like, the design, looking flawless. Wow, he really went deep on this. Everybody's Ooh. surprised. Me too. Yeah, okay. So, Dragon's been draining everybody's life force. In a well, way. Okay. Okay, so happy. I have the most obvious question. What do you mean? Because we're also trying to um, interpret what does it exactly mean. I don't know exactly how it works, but the people here on the on Billy or Gore have no idea that a little of their life force is being taken from them every day by this you know machine. This reminds me of Big Another Mom. Another Who's? It reminds me of One Piece's Big Mom. Like she takes everybody's life force and oh, stuff like that. Oh, her power. Yes, entry. yes. A good point. And that energy is being used to keep Drake alive. Oh, no, no, no. That's absurd. The element four are no exception. Draken is stealing their life force too, including clients. Okay. Jin's getting pissed. Wait, so what happens to someone when their life force has been drained over a long period of time? A shorter lifespan. I've heard that the unlucky ones die. And okay, right now, um, Weez is very pissed. He's angry. Wait, why is he mad? Wait, just a Weez, what's wrong? Don't tell me. I'm going after you guys handle things here. Mos Moscow, Ru, Mew, come back. We, we need to remodel the machine. Wait, where did Weez go? Can we just not stop the device? There'll be like no point. We have to put it in reverse. We're going to give people back their life for oh. life force and make Draken weaker. And we need Weez to do that. So what got into him? And then um, Sabir is thinking, <laughs> Pino's calling, Miss, message from Miss Herman. I heard everything. Is there a major change of programming? I might be able to manage it from here. Oh, the digital girl from Digilus. But first I need you to destroy the security device. Makes sense. 
wow, Herman literally just did like a whole, like a whole transmission with, uh, with Pino. Destroy the true blue on that blue terminal over there. It's getting my signal. I can't hack in. I can use my MP. We don't want to shut down the whole system. Physical force, please. But none of us is strong enough to. I won't budget in. Uh, he's trying to like sumo wrestling it. <laughs> then Jin or should I say Chris, you're up. Oh, he finally sees her. Finally, Sister Ivy, the real one. I am Sister Ivy. You've been looking for me. Finally. I'll stay clean, I promise. So help us out. Chris, please. This is some kind of joke. I'm a mercenary. I can't betray my employer. But. However, I swear I will always protect my clean. I was going to say, hey, if you're a mercenary, why don't the Eden Zero buy you with more money? I'm just saying, like, hey, that would have worked. But never mind. He just broke out of there. So he said, you know, my sister. I mean, they technically did make an offer. All right. We save your sister's life. You work for us. Yeah, kind of I mean, true. That's, that's so it works. It, even if it costs my life, let's go. Let the hacking begin. All right. We're All right. back. The fights continue. Oh, Shiki's really beaten up. Yeah, but I'll say, Sam, that's not really a fight. That's more of a... It still looks unfazed. And yeah, that's... There's more of a one-sided, you got guts. I'll give you that. I can't believe you're still standing. You keep hurting my friends. So I'm going to beat you here and now and protect them all. Beat me? <laughs> so nobody kid from nowhere thinks he can be drinking of the organ says Galactica, that's a funny joke. Laugh all you want, but I'm serious. I know I can do it. All right, he, Shiki activates more of his ether gear. A little bit nicer design. Looks more like rabbit ears and stuff. Oh, oh, your ethic energy is rising. <clears throat> and then it goes, boom. Looks like you're about one step away from overdrive. I see you're a nobody kid from nowhere, but if you're the key to unlocking cat, you must, you, you must have some work. Maybe, maybe keeping you alive will not be the best interest. Bah, <laughs> blah, shut up. Oof, okay, another punch. Get a good look. This is an ethic gear reaching its critical point. This is overdrive. All right. Oh, oh now we see the full darkness of it. Nice. Dude, he looks, he reminds me of someone from Fairy Tale, though. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, like, I know the one you're talking about. I know the one. Yeah, but like, like, I know, I know the one you're talking about. Oh my God, this looks I don't nice. I the name, though. It's just, ah, oh, it looks very nice. We're turning to stone. I see you in pieces. Oh, Arsenal. Oh, okay. We come to the save. Uh, you can return? No, no. I was just reading it, sir. We. So you're the one who killed the most person. Um, who killed the most? Who killed the person? You killed the person who meant the most person to me. Oh my god! I just, I just didn't see that coming. That's why I was just stuck. Out. I'm sorry. I'm, I just did there in that whole shocking moment. We the shark, and shaking shark, and we're all shocked. I'm like, wow. Okay, cool. Anyway, Wait, live I'm, reaction and for chapter ninety five. And with that, guys, let's get straight to our review. Sam, what did you think of the chapter? What do you think about Weez jumping in? What do you think about Sister Are you finally meeting Chris, which is weird to hear, like, such an American name, Chris. It's so weird. Chris with the K, too. Yeah. Like, but then, well, that that wasn't, like, it was cool to know his real name, but at the same time, I'm wondering, like, wait, who's Weez talking about? You're the one who killed the most precious to me, though. Who is he talking about? I am not too sure because we don't know too much about Weiss's story, his own yes. past and stuff like that. So I'm guessing we're going to get a flashback most likely of Weiss and more of a central story about him. And it makes sense now that Shiki has a backup or like a two versus one because mm -hmm. we know Shiki right now cannot defeat Drake by himself no matter mm -hmm. what. Yes. And, and even though Drake can say, oh, you're one step away from unlocking overdrive, as much as it is, Shiki cannot defeat him. So having an arsenal... With him as backup, that's a good team against Drake and Jones. That's very interesting. And I'm curious about two things that we learned from the chapters. Him. So we're going to see Wiz's backstory and us finding out about Jin, a.k.a. Chris, backstory and name. What does that mean? Like, what does the information give us? Is it, well, is, like, you know, does that when name you find mean something important? Real, well, you know, in like anything, when you find a person's real name, you know their identity. You could find their entire history, their families, yeah. and... But Everything like that? that's what I'm curious about. Is like, what does that mean? Like, who is Chris then? Like, is he something more important than he is? Or do we just find out about his name and going to fix his sister? Is that what it is just to that point? Or is it more to that story of Chris as well? Is what I'm more trying to lead into. Yeah, like, like, we get more of the story. We get more details from him and his sister. And we know that 
hey, we knew, we kind of called it in a way where he's like, yeah, he's going to meet the real sister. Be like, I'll heal you, heal, you, heal your sister. We don't need to fight and continue. And it's good that they have, that they have Chris or Jin, whoever you want to name him, on their side, especially where he can actually go into overdrive mode as well. So it wouldn't be too out of the question where Jin, Whis, and Shiki are all three together fighting Drake and Joe because we know a little bit, we have a taste of what overdrive can, a person using overdrive can do. And this was when during, before the time skip, time change and everything. Yeah, in um, world number 29. And like we've seen how like, like one shot done Shiki was after uh, Draken uses overdrive. Now this is like a whole entire full body change uh, yep. look and everything. And it's please, cool, and please for the viewers that's watching, remind us who he looks like from Fairy to me as I'm trying to have, you know, have an idea of what picture. Yes, we could research it, but we know you guys will help us in the comments and below. So thank you very much about that. But Sam, you were saying? But yeah, um, I do like that part. Uh, I know for sure, I don't even think uh, Whis and Shiki are together would be enough to take down Draken, especially when he's been taking out so many life force out of everybody from different planets because we learned it wasn't just from the planet that they're living in right now. It's also planet Gillis. There was also planet, um, uh, the other two planets as well that he has control. And now mm -hmm. everything kind of makes sense of how he's been staying alive throughout this whole time because the more planets he took over, take place and everything he plants that machine and then use but, that to drain all the life I, force and i think this also goes back to our theory now about cat leaper and with the chrono phase where we spoke about many chapters ago not many but like a couple of few chapters ago where our theory is about how this connects to the chrono phase maybe of him taking the energy and the life force of the planet maybe that's how maybe that's how the chrono phase comes to the planet but seeing there's no energy and life force to people that's why the chrono phase come here and probably rewinds time. Maybe that's how something's connected like that. I'll just put in like another connection there with from Ken Laper to Drake and Joel. Maybe what do you think about that, Sam? Um, no, I think you're close or near on the mark because I feel the same way where like somehow Whis in his own planet in Norma, I think that was, was like the planet yeah. that they were on to found they found Whis. Yeah. I guess it's like he did have a friend that lives with him and everything. And like they, nobody had any idea their lives were being shortened or being drained by Drake and Joe. We don't know how or work because they even they weren't even too sure how it's possible. And I'm guessing it's because of that person. If you think of it this way, think of it in a hospital where people are in a coma, people are like near like death experience, like they're oh yeah, close to death, yeah, coma that sort of way. If it wasn't for Drake and draining more of their life while they're in their weak state he, people would have not died and stuff like that they could have lived so we're definitely going to learn more about that and but you know what i also noticed about drake in overdrive form he also has a tail and longer hair if you go to um page 19 he has longer hair and also yeah. he has a tail so it kind of reminds me of goku like vegeta Slayer form kind of thing. it kind of reminds me of that but also kind of reminds me of kind of like super saiyan 4 because when you transform, they get longer hair and also get a tail. So it kind of reminds me a bit of that, but also the dragon slayer form is also like good a, too. And then his entire hair is white. He, yeah, his whole hair is white, and I'm guessing the body is like a darker, maybe black or blue. Yeah, we just thing. yeah, that's um, really interesting. But overall, I'm really happy about Hermie as well joining the. I'm oh, sorry, not um, yeah, Hermie Arsene joining the um, the fight. No, with Hermie joining the fight to also, you know, do the communication hacking, mm. but also Jin, again, with just Ari, very happy about that. Now let's see how that story goes and continues because we also got the um, information of how, I uh, forgot her name, but the girl doing the whole knowing about their organization and about the whole crew. So this was Le also uh, very crucial. Lebelia? No. Yeah, uh, no. Lebelia? No. Not uh, Lebelia. The uh, one that has a nice ass throughout the whole past two chapters. I forgot her name right now, top of my head. But yeah, her. Uh, I think her name was. Um, I'm not gonna even yeah. try to worry about it, Sam. It's good. Yeah. You're gonna stress yourself. You're gonna stress yourself to worry about it. But on that, have any more thoughts, Sam? No, I think I'm good. I'm wondering. It's good that we're gonna have a backstory for next chapter because it just means like, all right, cool. We stay longer in this arc. We can probably end this either in chapter 100 or 101. Like I've been saying, fine. At least it yeah. reached to uh, chapter 100, and we get to see some kind of nice cover art. Because usually. 100 chapters is a big milestone for everybody, a lot of people and stuff like that. So um, 
definitely can't wait to see the cover art that Mashima would have planned for chapter 100. Yeah, me too. I'm keen to see what he comes up with. So let us know what you guys thought about it in the comments section below. What do you guys think about this chapter? Let us know your thoughts. Let us know, let us know about your feedback. Let us know if there's a review as well about the tournament phase, about Drake, what's going to happen with Arsenal and Shiki, who could be about Weez, how he feels about it. Let us know in the comments section below. Like the video as well. If we entertain you and also subscribe if you want more anime content. Press the notification too. Every time I upload a video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.